So the snippet series is generally sponsored by the Saka family and by Allah from Foreman for a full shlema of Hadassah, Rachel, Bas, Chana, Golda. We begin the 17th bracha of the Amida, the bracha of Ritzei, and Besach Zena Einenu. Our longing for our Baruch Hu to return to restore to Yerushalayim, the building of the Beis HaMikdash. We last left off, the Seder Yom told us Ritzei was said not only today in the absence of a Beis HaMikdash during Churban, but even when the Beis HaMikdash stood, we dive into Hashem that the Karbanas, the Avoda, should be Ritzei, should be Ritzui. Kodesh Baruch Hu should accept it favorably. Today we don't have Avoda, we don't have Karbanos. Ezi Avoda should believe is Tfila. Today the Avoda that we have is Tfila. Ritzei is right after Bakasha, after we list all of our needs, we then say, Hashem, we hope that that, that went smoothly. We hope that you're favorable. We hope that you'll answer in a positive, in a positive sense. Rabbi Yonis and Ibshitz is recorded by Eldis Farah Mansidr. Nizyaros Dvash, Rabbi Yonis and Ayesu's comments on this Ritzei, the first of the last three brachas of the Amida of Hoda, and Rabbi Yonis writes the following, Yimsor nafsha l'avodas Hashem, v'yala belibo k'ilu nekar agabe ha-mizbeach, v'eish ha-mizbeach yukad bo, v'reihu ga'ola kalil l'ashem. When one says Ritzei, they should think not only about the restoration of the avoda of the service in the Beis HaMikdash, but we should see ourselves and our lives as the ultimate avoda to sacrifice, to serve Hashem. That's Ritzei. Hashem, let my service of you, let my life, let my mission, let my purpose, let my lifestyle. I dedicated, I devoted all to you to the point that we're willing to pay the ultimate sacrifice. V'yisave, it's a very difficult lashon, a very difficult language. Yisave ma'ot she'yaharig al kiddush Hashem shu ola kulo kalil l'ashem. To the point, says Rabbi Nisan Ayibshitz, the person should daven, they have the merit to be most of their nefesh to Hashem. Now, I don't, I don't think he means literally. We don't value or celebrate death. We, the Jewish people, the Torah teaches. We preserve, we fight for, we protect, we secure life. We don't glorify death, we don't long for death, we certainly don't daven for death. Yet, yet in Shema, we say every day, a willingness to devote to Hashem, the Gemara says, means, person says, Hashem, I'm willing to give you my resources, I want to devote it all, I'll give my life, I'll give my life for you. The Balatanya writes, the Tanya says, the simplest Jew, unsophisticated, uneducated, non-observant, the simplest Jew, push comes to shove in that moment, pressed into a corner, back against a wall, the simplest Jew would give their life for being a Jew, for Hashem. We saw it throughout our history, would be Moser Nefesh. Simplest Jew writes the Balatanya, not the most learned, not the most pious, not the most observant. Simplest Jew has in our kishkas a willingness to be most nefesh. Bechol nafshecha. That's what Rabbi Akiva said on his lips when he gave his life. All my life I waited. I didn't know how would I fulfill those words. And now I can. So Rabbi Yenison is not writing, God forbid, a person should daven or long for. But as we're seeing now, so sadly and so tragically, how many soldiers have been most nefesh, have paid the ultimate price. They didn't long, they didn't want, they tried to avoid at all costs. But a willingness in the service of Hashem and of His people. If we are devoting ourselves as that avoda, that service, that sacrifice to Hashem, a sacrifice is ineligible if it has a mum, a blemish. For us to qualify to be that sacrifice, that service, we have to rid ourselves of mumim, of blemishes. So, Ritzei essentially is a calling that we do tshuva, that we reflect on our lives and we live lives and lives of service in which we have no blemish. So Ritzei is our effort that we not find within ourselves any mum, any blemish. And listen to how he concludes. He writes, In Ritzei, daven hard, will be rebuilt, Yerushalayim, Go to the Kotel, you should look up and see something else there and say, what's it doing there? They're occupiers. They're occupying our mountain. They're occupying our holy space. It doesn't belong. A person should be in pain, should be in pain. We're longing, we're davening, we're waiting. I once had this chus, and I was learning in Eretz Yisrael and Kolal to pick up Moiv Rabbi, Rav Shechter, he's coming next Shabbos, and uh, to go around with him when he was giving shiurim. So when I first picked him up, I saw him. I, he had come from the Kotel, and I said, Rebbe, how, how was it? And he said, you know, this peculiar thing happened. I said, what was that? He said, I, I tore Korea, and I looked up, and there's still no base on Mikdash. There's a mosque where the Makkum on Mikdash should be. He said, so I started crying. How could it be? I thought this time it would be different. He said, when I opened my eyes, there was a crowd around me pointing and saying, look, there's a Jew who still cries 
That doesn't, so he looked at me and he said, Ephraim, does, doesn't everybody cry when they look up and see that there's a mosque and not the Beis HaMikdash? To which, of course, I said, yeah, sure, everybody, everybody cries. That's the, of course, that's the natural reaction. Everybody does, Rebbe. I don't know what's the matter with those people. So there's still our Jews. There's still our Jews that look up, and we should be among those Jews. Ritzei is our tefillah, our prayer, that we qualify, we count. We be among those Jews that we look up and we say, what? That's not what's supposed to be here. Someone's occupying our home, our land, our mountain, our mikdash. Kisham nasa tikun olamim. Ech yerav lalach ovalishtos karben shema borech nichoch l'ashem yotar olam umlo yish l'neichem mikorben v'nema b'menu. Ech nukol, how could it be? The reach nichoch, the pleasant fragrance that we provide, the delicious barbecue that we send to Hashem, it's not there. We're absent, it's missing. How could it be? How could it be? And I mentioned last time, the Rabbi Einstein actually includes uh, the words. He says something astounding. He says that a person, the Ayvitz writes, the Ayvitz writes, that if a person doesn't answer Amen to in Chazar Sashat to to Hamachazir Shkena Solutzion, Ma'akev Bias Mashiach Chas V'Shalom. For it says, V'Sachazena Einenu, you don't answer Amen, which is important because often people hear the Chazen and they jump right into Modim. Modim's a fan favorite, so they jump right into Modim. And they neglect the Amen after a Machazir Shkina Solitzion. And if we neglect that Amen and we neglect Kavana in Ritzei and we neglect what that's supposed to be, Chalila Ma'akev Biasa Mashiach, we all want the Mashiach, how can we get in the way? So the Shlach Kodesh says that this Bracha should be said Beshivron Lev with a broken heart. We're remembering, we're reflecting, we're nostalgic, what's supposed to be there. Tefillah is taking the place, but it's not the same. We want the Avoda, we want the Beis Amikdash, we want the Karbanos, we want to be worthy, we want to merit to see his return. Mirza Shem speedily in our day.